Hey, 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 the music box has been added to the court record. Well, that's cool. I want to check it out. Uh, but first, we have this cross-examination. I'm a communications officer. I couldn't steal Hi. government information. Why not? Is it encoded or something? Yeah. Okay, so he claims he has no idea if government secrets are being stolen or not. Ah, but he's too low level to know uh, all this this high class stuff. You're number five? Hey, we're not that lowly and unimportant. We've got a team. We test things. And he's team leader. Oh. Oh, Mr. Graydon, so maybe you did have access to a high level things. Hmm. Sounds like your employee just proved you wrong. Okay, and it did it does make sense that they would send the messages behind closed doors and uh put them in code. Oh, but he regularly attends uh meetings to make sure the codes are accurate. Oh, and he's great at code cracking. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, Graydon. Being so great at your job is just causing causing your fans to uh, <laughs> turn on you a little bit. Yeah, she really needs to pick a, a better person to hide. I like somebody who's not a lion. Hold it! So it sounds aren't Morse code because the message is encoded, right? We, we just said that those were secret codes, right? Dude, I just found out about like these high-powered telegraph wires. What, yesterday? No, I don't need a lesson in Morse code right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait I know this, yeah. A dot and a, a dash. That's how Morse code works. Morse code generally has two different sounds, but this music box has only uh, one particular sound. The rhythm is the same, though. Hmm. Poor Ryan Osuke. He's looking so dumb. Possible to use. I don't know. It looks like it might be possible for us to uh, mess with the music box. Okay. I'm like pretty sure that means we need to look at this thing. What's this button on the bottom? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa! If you have two discs, they play back at the same time. Yeah, so one would play sound number one, the other would play sound number two. We just explained Morse code 
It has two different sounds, dots and dashes. Yeah, so now that I've examined the music box in great detail... Well, okay, I looked at one thing in the music box in great detail. Anyway! Hold it. Now that I've looked at it, I, will, I should be able to say, hey, 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 This can be used to play Morse code. So let's go, go back to that. Is it possible? Yeah, it's totally possible. Objection. Yes, it does make me very happy when I repeat myself. I'm gonna present my idea! It's got a second secret... secret compartment right here. Oh, we, we just saw this conversation, didn't we? Okay, well, we'll just see it again. There's gotta be some portion of this that I can present. Here we go. Okay, so see how my cursor changes changes color and shape? Got it. That must mean, hey, I, I can present this thing. Linked together, they play at the same time. You're just repeating what you heard three minutes ago, Ryan Osuke, and pretending you knew it all along. So the question then becomes, what of this second disc? Is it the case that the first disc can be used on both sides? Could we at least try out the disc on the other side? To see if it works. Okay, great. We get to continue the cross-examination. And now it looks like we're going to switch our focus onto a Graydon's Link with with the uh, victim of the omnibus case. Hold it! So, Gilded was negotiating with some totally random guy we know nothing about, just a brick maker. Yeah, how would he get this top secret government disc? Yeah. Somebody who's operating behind the scenes and just using using him as a as a front. Raiden wanted uh, Mason as a go-between between himself and uh, Mr. Gilded. There's some evidence to link them together. If you have nothing more to add on that note, let's continue. Well, it looks like we have nothing more to add on that note. Hmm. I don't think we even have any information about the, uh, the 
brick maker. Mason Milverton was his last name. Yeah, hmm. The fact that we have his last name doesn't seem to help. You know his colors... His, his blood color is, is, is purple. Anyway, let's present the two statements made by, uh, uh, the two Skulkins. You're indicating that they've worked with him before, Mr. Skulkin. Hmm. Oh, oh! Excuse me. Hey, what's your brother got to say? Good old days, huh? Let's hear more. Younger, he was from the poor part of town, just like us. He had the brains, he had the savvy, come up with small ideas. Yeah, there we go. Milverton, just mentioned Milverton. We've got a connection. know that Mason's last name was Milverton. I think it is very relevant. I want the Milverton thing added to testimony. Just briefly mention the detail, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna present the, uh, the Gilded Case notes. Objection! Oh no, that's not an objection? What? That's, that's incorrect, but that's totally the piece of evidence there. Okay, fine, let's press this statement, and then maybe we'll get a prompt to uh, present it. Elaborate on the business name, okay. Definitely needed to press the statement to get a prompt. Why are they eating fruit? Hold it. Interrupting Graydon? Not only proves we're on the right track. Mmm. So your last name is actually Milverton, huh? I guess that was his birth. Uh, birth name. Yeah, 
yeah, we could easily check these records. Mr. Graydon, figure out what your last name is for real. Go back. Go back and present it. So what was the statement about linking? Uh, I, I think it was like... was the third one. He's saying he has no relation whatsoever to uh, Milverton. Which is wrong, because in the Gilded Case notes say, hey, Mason's last name is Milverton. Objection! There we go. So now we can present those case notes. I mean, he has a totally different name engraved on his on his cane. His name is not Mr. Mason. He was... Mr. Milverton. Whoa! Is that your father? I was going to say brother or cousin or something. Yes, we could easily subpoena these records. And there we go. Huge accusation. You were working with your father to sell government secrets. That makes, uh, I mean, it makes sense that he would use his father as a go-between, between him and Mr. McGilded. He would trust his own father. Very good summary of the case. What did happen to the other disc? I don't know. Okay, so he, he decided to rob the pawnbroker, hoping to recover that second disc. That's what he was trying to get all along. And we know they touched the music box, so it is possible the second disc was inside in the villain's already took it. Wow, yeah. We know this. You clearly knew what you were looking for when you broke into that place.
Ah, Graydon, you should have tried buying the box legitimately. Then you could have gotten away with it. You might have been able to get away with it, I'm not sure. Oh, he's not giving up that easily.